Capricorn, there is nothing worse than a coward that likes to throw stones and hide their little hands. You have someone that you need to keep at arm's length that is refusing to go away. It is definitely giving the very needy, codependent, can't stand on their own two feet energy. And see, the thing is, this is somebody who creates their own chaos, unnecessary drama, tower moments. They have a reputation for betraying people. They have a reputation here for being very cunning, though they may not be very smart. Capricorn, please drop this person's sign down below. Family, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for my daily Capricorn readings, and be sure to comment down below with your birthday, sun, moon, rising, and where you're watching from. Always big shout out to everyone in Michigan. Now, I don't, can't remember if I said this before, but this person possibly being a Virgo or a Capricorn. But it's the fact that this person won't go away. And it's hard to say at this stage in the game whether you have a solid relationship with this person, whether it's romantic or otherwise. Or this could also be somebody that you work with that's trying to escalate a situation between you and them. And when I say escalate the situation, move too quickly into a friendship. Move too quickly into a romantic relationship. It's just like they're kind of always around. This is why you need to watch this person. This is why you need to slow things down with this particular individual here. Because it's only a matter of time as this grandfather clock is on midnight before they really reveal themselves to you. You can already tell that there's something wrong because nobody tries to move quickly into being best friends. Oh, they want to have lunch with you every day at work. Oh, you're just dating this person and now they're all up underneath you. It's, it's screaming a lot of red flags. Again, this person's reputation is one of pulling the rug out from underneath someone, but it's the betrayal factor and the kind of, notice how this person is running away. Guilty as sin, blood on their hands, a whole hot mess, but trying to avoid accountability, the worst type of person. And then it's this, oh, bitter and angry. One thing that I find about codependent people, especially the ones that like to play the victim, because what I notice in the Seven of Swords, which I've never paid attention to until now, is that typically you see somebody with like wands, or it would, in this case, it would be candles in front of them. These candles are all behind this individual. Notice that. It's almost like they're looking for help. Okay, but there's five over here. It's a they're pretending to be vulnerable. It's the old wolf in sheep's clothing type of situation. And here's the deal. We see this person being very cunning in nature, bitter, angry. And that's what you need to watch out for. It's always somebody else's fault, even though they're they're clearly in the mess. Again, here, here, they're all up in it. They've caused this drama. We see this Knight of Wands, but then it's the Seven of Pentacles as well. Uh, they make a mess and then they run to somebody else. It's looking like you at the moment with all of their drama, looking to see what you think. I cannot stand somebody who seeks validation from others because they can't give it to themselves. It's disgusting. I'm not talking about somebody who you're actually close with or they're asking you for your professional opinion on something that you actually know or are aware of. This is somebody trying to pull you into their drama because nobody else wants to be involved with them. Conflict all around. Note it, and, and even here, 
especially for those of you where this person is looking for friendship or your coworkers, especially, be mindful of this person who may even be the same gender as you. And it almost feeling like the situation is turning romantic, if that's not your thing, right? This person is going to heavily lean on you. This person is going to need you. But be clear, the closer that they get, the more that they know. This person is a gossiper. I already told you that they they like to cause a lot of issues and drama. They're coming to you and talking because you're cool, calm, and collected here. But really, they just need more tea. This person that's coming to you talking about other people, understand that they're talking about you to other people also. Toxic. Toxic. The fact that nobody around this individual, the fact that no one in the office, no one in the workplace, no one in your social circle wants to be around this individual should be the biggest red flag. And not it's giving that they're a liar. And not only that, the Peter Pan energy here, a childish, very immature liar. Please drop the Pinocchio emoji down below, family. And this person's sign. There's a liar in this house. If you see him, point him out, period. They bring a lot of this chaos onto themselves, but here's them bringing the chaos to you. Telling your business, taking advantage of your kindness, you're wanting to help this individual. This is why you can't make friends in the workplace. This is why it's always suspicious when, pe <laughs> when people, especially grown folks, in their 30s and 40s, you barely know the person talking about we're best friends. You've only been on two or three dates. They're acting like you're in a relationship. And even if you're courting and not dating, um, you're not in a relationship. Chill out. You're just getting ready to trying to figure this person out. They need it's really given the trying to possess somebody vibes. And by possessing this person, they feel under control, not just of this other situation that they're trying to pull you into or get information about, but also being in control over you. This person has no control over themselves, so they seek out others that they can attempt to control to make themselves feel okay because they clearly can't control their mouth. That's why they're bringing other people's information to you, messy. Those of you who have fallen for the okie doke, they're bringing your information to other people. See, because while you're trying to help this person and giving your opinion on something you don't know anything about, they're going to run it back like, well, Capricorn said this. It don't even have nothing to do with you. This person is dangerous to your reputation. Uh, exactly. Aquarius. The fixed signs, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, again. You need to really sit and think if you and this person are on the same page. I wouldn't be surprised, especially for those of you, especially for the women. I don't know how men operate in this way, so I can't speak to that. The, the men will have to let me know in the comment section. But especially for the women... Watch out when this person starts to dress like you, act like you, do the things that you do, okay? They're really crazy. They're really crazy. They're not, they're not dealing with a full deck. And that's why you need to take your time. Put a pause on this in like an old VCR. Don't pause it, just stop it. Stop and rewind. Put it back in the case, okay? Leave this person alone. They see that you are solid and stable. They see that you have it together. They see that you're very grounded, confident, while they're all, okay, up in the air. All up in the air, because this is that background energy. You see this Pisces flip-flopping, enough said. 
but also this person causing a lot of drama out of boredom. They need the excitement. And you, you see that here. Ooh, smacking my light all around. You see that here. The mess, the gossip, the rumors, the trying not to be confronted. This person is totally cowardly. When you try to confront this individual, understand that they're going to flee. They're going to run. And it's not just running from you. It's running from everybody. This person does not do accountability. They do not tell the truth. The truth is a part of accountability. See, they're coming in Pisces in this Ace of Cups. Like they're very loving. But again, it is it's temporary. They're hoping that by showering you with a lot of love and affection, compliments, doing favors for you, that you will be blind to what's really going on. This is why discernment is so key. When you feel like something is off, understand that something actually is off. And oh, again, this person is delusional and they do not deal with reality. When they are put between a rock and a hard place, they run. They scatter like a roach. Do not get yourself caught up in this situation here. Do not. We see it's high risk. This Oh, the six is. It's the six is for me. The six of air and the six of earth. It's the person looking you dead in your face, acting like they're, again, like they're pouring into something, like they're really invested, but really they're doing a lot of things underhanded. It is going back to this Aquarius and it is the mirroring you to get you to feel like there are similarities between you and this spineless amoeba. And there really isn't. They don't have anywhere to turn to in this social circle. They ain't got no exes that want to deal with them or anybody else that wants to date them. There's nobody in the office that wants to deal with them. So they're trying to find somebody else to buddy up with. They cannot be alone. They cannot. And as I said, childish. It's this shape shifting for me with that star and this death card here. Now we got Scorpio popping up. Who we've seen? Aquarius, the fixed signs, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, Scorpio, Aries. I forgot about that with the tower. Totally overlooked that. It's the shape shifting for me in an effort to in an effort to blend in like that chameleon, very fake individual. It's very childish, it's very immature, and it's moving too quickly. Capricorn. This person is a, a major manipulator. And it's the repeating eights for me. Earth, fire, fire, water. Drop those repeating numbers you've been seeing lately, family. I feel like some of you got the memo. Your spider sense was tingling. That something isn't quite right with this person. Maybe it is that they're, you know, boy crazy, girl crazy still in their mid-30s like a nut. Maybe it is that they have a mad lust issue. Maybe it is that they are just out of control. They lack self-control. But this individual is very dark. They have a lot of secrets. While they're acting like they're close and you know them so well, that's to make you feel comfortable. They know that they're shady. They know that there's a lot of things you don't know about this individual. And it really has to do with how they move. Mm, mm, mm. They are absolutely looking for their next victim. And again, the childish... Let's be best friends. You're the best friend I have. Hardly know this person. I feel like you're a good man. I feel like you're a good woman. Talking about having kids. You want a second date. 
what? They cannot be alone. More of this Virgo energy with this Nine of Pentacles. You need to be very low-key around this individual. And I'm saying that because some of you have the ability to walk away. That, that should be a no-brainer. Some of you do not because you work with this individual or they're in your social circle. Maybe they're not one of your particular friends, but maybe you're part of a group or something. You need to not tell them anything about you. You need to give them a neutral response because any type of positive or negative they're going to they're going to feed off of that and it's the nines for me they're going to feed off of it and why do i get this feeling again especially for the women though it could be a man also um that if they're friends with you and you get a romantic partner that there's going to be problems jealousy, envy, whether it's because they started to develop <laughs> romantic feelings for you because they lack boundaries or whether it's because they just are threatened by the way that people receive you. That'll be when things really start to go downhill. That'll be when somebody, okay, it's going to be very focused on the potential that you have, all of the good things, and they'll be wanting to, okay, I spy in you. They'll be wanting to take you down. See, one thing that, can, that is, has been consistent throughout this reading is there is two sides to this crazy person. They may be very educated, but they're also very mentally disturbed deep-rooted issues and it screams liar cheater thief it screams somebody who's very insecure has a lot of shame issues maybe they even have a few addictions smoking drinking laying up with people maybe all three but when this bird comes around a straight pigeon okay you need to be very careful because the thing is, is that they're they're moving very emotional, and, but very emotionally immature, especially for this person that you are working with. Travaille, OK? Especially this person that does a lot of traveling. They may be moving around a lot from job to job, place to place, city to city, constantly, you know, leaving home to go on trip because they don't like themselves. They can't stay in one place too long because they're running around here, burning bridges, being reckless. And I'm telling you, the first sign that's a red flag is this person that loves a lot of attention, has to be the center of it, but they're looking for somebody who will just be loyal. They're not loyal. Notice the rat in the background. They're low down. The rat's in the background. The lovers here, heavy Gemini energy. And whether it's a Gemini or not, because it doesn't have to be sign specific, it's the fact that this person is very two-faced. It's the fact that one in one situation, they're this way, but in another, they're the opposite. You need to be very careful of this person, Capricorn. Drop this individual sign down below. Let me know what resonated for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.